Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to cover last week's trading highlights. Now, this is my third attempt at uh, doing a highlight for the week. I'm still kind of working out the kinks. In fact, I'm actually a uh, week late with this video and just because I was, uh, I overthink things. And so uh, this time I'm going to try a little bit something different than what I did last time. I'm just going to use the screenshots that I use on Patreon to kind of cover some of the main points, some of the uh, best kind of lessons learned for that week. And again, this is a week late, so I'm going to post it straight to YouTube after I'm done editing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, so we're going to start out with uh, Tuesday. As you can see, I came in really early at uh, 3.34, four minutes after the market opened. Since then, I've tried not to go in so early, at least wait 15 minutes, because you can see the market opening is really hectic. The price just jumps up and down. You don't really have anything to go by because the pre-market uh, doesn't have enough volume to... Uh, to confirm that price movement whether it's going up or down so i got in real quick luckily i uh, was able to get out when i was green so you can tell that it went red for a little bit i waited and then i sold as it was moving up uh, the problem is that after you know this downtrend began i got in again at exactly the same price that i got in the first time thinking it was going to come back up it didn't it actually started dropping so i cut my losses right here then I waited till it, uh, this huge drop right here. And I figured, you know, after a big drop, there's gonna be a big gain uh, for the most part, I think. It's not, I don't think it's necessarily a rule, but uh, that's what I've been noticing. So then I went in right at the bottom, which is the perfect entry. But unfortunately, I got a little bit spooked when I saw that red. And so I saw the price slow down and I got out where I could easily um, kept going up to maybe even the point that I got on the second time. So that would have been a, a lot better of a gain. But anyways, uh, you know, hindsight is 2020. So uh, this one right here, the mistake that I made was that I wait, uh, I didn't wait long enough to see a clear uptrend when I got in on this second time. Yeah. And so that's the three trades that I did with CGC right there. Two wins, one loss. And then we're going to move on to SQQ, which uh, I will kind of avoid it trading for a little while. Uh, but I saw it. I saw it uptrending. I waited till it kind of... Um, showed me some higher lows so i got in right after it passed that first resistance uh, which it did go up and i could have easily sold up here but i think i got greedy and i wanted to, uh, wanted to see it go higher uh, it didn't it just dropped big and be it did go red for a little bit and i think instead of um, instead of just holding on and uh, you know obviously i didn't want it to go any i didn't want to go red after being green for a while so i just sold uh, it did go below the point that I got in and eventually just continued to go up. What was it, like nine, almost $10. But I wouldn't have stayed in the market that long. Maybe I could have stayed to, to here, but it was just, uh, you know, right now as I'm learning, I'm just trying to get in and out, not as fast as I can, but as safe as I can. Right, so that was SQQ. I only had, I think I had two different times where I went in. So let's uh, see the second one. Did I have a second one? Yeah, right here. So as you can see, the second time was a the exact same point where I got in. So that's two two stocks where by pure coincidence, I got in around the same time. This time, <clears throat> again, I bought it. Uh, it started moving up. So I bought it right at the bottom, right? I started moving up. And instead of uh, waiting it, I sold it kind of quick. And so I missed this huge opportunity right here. Yeah, that was just, uh, a, again, there's nothing I can do after that, but that was a perfect entry. The exit was way, way too early. I think I was just tired of waiting. And so I decided to cut my, you know, just kind of uh, get rid of my position so I can end the live stream. And so later on in the day, it just continued to climb. Uh, so that has to do more with patience than anything else. I was pretty active on Macy's on this day. I think I came in and out a bunch of times, including it towards the end of the day. So you can see I went in and I lost on that first one and then I waited for it to go up. Uh, I got in again somewhere around here uh, and then I did make some money on that one. I saw it come back down, up. Uh, I got I got in on this right here. So so right now it's already two, two trades, right? I lost big on this one. I got in again, made some money on that one waited a little bit longer as it was moving up i got in but then it dropped i didn't sell until i kept moving up so that's another one that i made money on and towards the end of the day i kind of got overly excited i started over trading as you can see uh, i got in here and then i made a little bit of money but then i gave most of that away uh, when i 
try to trade again right before the end of the day. So I began to chase the price and lost twice. Do not do this. Okay, so that's Macy's right there. So I gave up a lot of the gains from that day. I just done, you know, abusing a stock that was good to me earlier in the day. There's a couple more that I did that day. Nothing really that stands out. So this one, real quick, uh, scalp got in, started slowing down. So I got out for a little bit of profit right there. And the next one right here. Uh, uh, pretty much the same thing i saw it i didn't want to chase the price so i kind of let it settle a little bit uh, unfortunately i thought it was going to go up on this one and it ended up going down so i took a big loss like really fast quick loss right there and so you can see that's just where i kind of went over uh, so anyways this is the stuff that i put on patreon so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend too much time on that okay so now we're gonna go to the next day which is uh wednesday so ge the first time i played it uh, i got a little bit of gains so i saw it, it was started shooting up. I try to avoid getting into that one because now I'm just chasing the price. I made that mistake a bunch of times since then, so it's not like I've learned yet, but I'm trying to. The price went down. I got in right at the bottom because of this huge, all these red candles that just kind of showed that it was going to rebound. So I got in right at the bottom. I started going back up and slowing down, and so I sold, which is perfect because it started dropping again. So I just played it that one time. So again, I got I went green on this one. As you can see, it was uptrending from the pre-market. So I just kind of waited for a nice clean indicator. As you can see right here, this was a resistance. I waited for the price to come back down to that, to that resistance to become a support. I got in, nice timing. It started shooting up. And as soon as it passed that following resistance, I was kind of looking for it to start uh, moving back down. So as soon as it started slowing down, I kind of got out a little bit late because I was I was hoping that it wouldn't cross that. I was hoping that that resistance from before would become a support, uh, which it didn't. And so I got out and then thankfully, you know, I got out in enough time. It did go back up be uh, after that, but by then I was out, I had my profits and I was good. To be honest, a lot of these comes, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they, they mean, but same thing. It was kind of crazy in the morning. I waited for it to kind of drop and bottom out. Uh, it did touch twice this, this uh, support right here. So as soon as I started coming back up, I got in. It had trouble passing that previous resistance, so I just kind of watched it, and then I realized that it wasn't gonna, it wasn't really gonna go back up. So then I just sold right before it hit that previous support. So I did get a little bit of a gain on that one, 80 cents. Uh, and again, I know these numbers sound ridiculous, you know, winning 20 cents, 80 cents, but right now I'm just trying to work the, the technique out. I'm testing a lot of things that sometimes make me lose a lot uh, relative to the account. And so that was another one right there that was green, all right? And then I played Ford. With Ford, it was just really bad timing. It bottomed out over here, but then I kind of waited too long. I wasn't really tracking it until it started moving up. So I thought that, you know, it went down here and it started recovering. So I thought once it passed this point, it could potentially shoot up. So I got in at the top and it just dropped. So once it passed this, this previous support, I just got out for a loss. And I don't think I touched it. The, net, the following day, it continued to move up, but uh, it was already kind of late for that. Yeah, and then the other one that I got into on a Wednesday was Tuesday. Tuesday Morning Corporation. This one right here was a loss. As you can see, it shot up, kind of uh, hit the resistance, came back down to support, shot back up. And then I, I thought that because when this one went down into this, uh, this uh, support line, which is above the last resistance, I thought I was going to be able to get in for uh, for another uptrend. Uh, it didn't. It kind of went red for a little bit, green for a little bit, and then it just kind of started moving back and forth. I ended up selling after this huge drop here for a loss. Eventually, it did go above my initial entry, but by that time, I was already done with the stream. I was already done trading. And then the other one that we have here is GRNQ. So GRNQ uh, made $4.40. It's probably the biggest one that I've had so far that week. And so as you can see, I didn't even take advantage of it as much as I could have. Uh, as you can see, it kind of dropped down in the morning when the uh, market opened. So as you can see, it kind of kept bouncing off of this support. So I thought, okay, well, it looks like it's bottom, bottoming out. So I got in and it kind of dropped for a little bit, but then it started bouncing. And as soon as it started slowing down, I got out. I got out on the up uptrend. It did come back down to where I sold, uh, but it continued to move. And there's just no way for me to know. It did drop down a lot. 
but eventually towards the end of the day it continued to move up uh, so that was a huge opportunity loss uh, I'm, I'm okay with it obviously the first time i saw it i was like oh my god how much could I, that would have been instead of four dollars it could have potentially been i think 10 to 12 dollars something like that i can't remember i did the math uh, so you can see right there those are all the trades for that day i had two red ones uh, obviously one of them was pretty big nine percent loss but then that 15 percent gain over here and that almost four percent on uh, zom was, was pretty good all right so the next day which is thursday we start out with hertz now hertz was uh pretty pretty crazy i think the power bankruptcy on on this week right here and so as you can see i got in immediately lost money so i got out i waited for it to bottom out i got in right here as it was uh down and then i ended up uh, making about three dollars on the way up as you can see, I was uh, I, I was almost tempted to sell right here, but I just kind of held on and it continued to move for this big bounce here. And so I, I ended up selling right at the top. So that was actually a pretty good trade. Unfortunately, I got overconfident. I tried to trade again and I ended up losing. So you can't see the second sell because it's exactly this, the same spot that I sold the first time. So that you can't tell, but there's two blue lines right on this exact same price. You know, sometimes you try, you uh, you get lucky with one stock, so you want to play it again, and it's probably the wrong thing to do. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, phase P H A S right here for a loss. So I got in thinking that this big red drop is gonna meet, uh, was going to uh, uptrend. It didn't. It just dropped, and I ended up selling back here. And then right when I sold, maybe I don't know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About ten minutes later, it shot up. Then it dropped and it shot up some more. So you can see <laughs> it went up to as high as 679, somewhere on there. When I bought at five, uh, when I sold at 580. So I ended up selling at the bottom right before reaching 679. So we got BCRX. Okay, so right here, just a mistake. I uh, saw so a drop, so I got in, but I got in too late. I did not uh, cut, uh, grab my gains when I first saw that. See how it didn't push past the previous resistance? I should have sold right there. I should have known. If anything, I would have came in uh, for a smaller loss, but I waited too long and I ended up cutting losses here before I moved back up. All right, and then we got CHFS. Again, another loss. Just It was just kind of hectic down here. I don't even know why I got in really. Uh, it was just all over the place. I got in, it didn't really do much. It went red and then green. I remember this one because it was a penny stock. The movement of it was pretty erratic. And so I think I just got tired of watching it go crazy. So I just decided to take the hit, which is actually pretty good because uh, it only reached that point where I sold twice after that. So I would have been un way under if I kept waiting. This one, I have way too many lines on here, I guess, you know, because I didn't chase it in the beginning. I thought maybe I can get it up here at the top. But now, now that I look at it, uh, that was kind of pushing it already because it was had move up so much. What's that? 50 cents, somewhere around 50 cents uh, for a penny stock. That's a lot. And so I, I got in, and then almost immediately it just dropped, and I sold. And really, where I sold, it, it ended up being pretty much the top for the rest of the day. Out of all the trades, I only had one green trade so i got two dollars and 87 cents but then i gave back 90 cents after initially giving uh giving back a dollar four cents i ended up winning less than a dollar because i messed with uh, hertz too much and i lost a big over here with three dollars and nine cents so this is going to be the last day here and as you can see because i had some success with ge before i got in it again uh, for a loss a huge loss i saw a move up so I come back down and you know you can you can argue that that would have been uptrend but I didn't get out early, early enough I kind of let it go way below so if this would have been an uptrend right because it was higher highs then whenever it crossed this uh, price right here I should have sold which I didn't I ended up waiting all the way down here and I ended up selling right before it picked up again so if I would have sold here there's a potential that I could have waited until the bottomed out, got in again, and then sold again where I initially got in. But So I lost on that one. So this is CGC, another loss. So you can see I got in way at the top. 
It dropped. I should have sold. As soon as I saw those red candlesticks, I should have sold. Maybe I could have gotten in down here somewhere, but I didn't. I just kind of held it until I just couldn't stand it anymore. I ended up losing with Aveo too, a dollar and 38 cents. So even though it's not a lot of money, they add up. You know what I mean? So instead of my account going up from a thousand, it's going down at the current moment. So, I mean, it's a learning process, so I'm not worried about it. I wish I could be better sooner. So here we go. This is Hardy. And so I initially got in and then I won a little bit, just like a quick scalp. Then I got in again and I think it doubled up somewhere. So that's the first time I won, 60 cents. And then I got in at 141, but then I got it at 136 way down here. So I had all this opportunity to get out on top, but I waited way too, I don't even know why. I don't even know what, I don't have a good excuse of why I waited this long to get out. Yeah, but I ended up losing with that one. So I got in, I won 60 cents, and then I lost 90 cents. Again, another loss. So it came in, I, you know, I was trying not to chase this price right here. Waited for it to come down and recover. I got in, but it just continued to drop, which should have been obvious in my head, but I don't know why I didn't see it then. And it just kept, I kept waiting for it to reach uh, the green. It didn't, so I just ended up cutting losses here. This one hurt. I got in on what I assume was a turnaround. After considerations, I realized it was downtrending the entire time. I held it for a long time, close to the end of day. I placed a stop loss. The stop loss uh, was reached right as it shot up to above my entry. So you can see right here, I kept holding it. It was red. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll make it a swing trade and you know, hopefully it goes up. Yeah, just holding and hoping, I guess. Stop loss got triggered and literally one, two, what, three, four minutes later, it shot way back up. So what can you do? You know what I mean? SQQQ was the other one. And this one is really quick scalp, as you can see bottomed out it looked like it bottomed out twice once it passed this first resistance i got in right at the bottom it moved up started coming back down so i sold it which is good so that wasn't too bad if you're not doing options and you're just doing uh, regular stocks it takes a lot of money for you to be able to kind of take the, uh, get the benefits of those slight you know price movements you know obviously i'm not going to make a lot of money but i'm also not going to lose a lot of money just trying to get my percentage up there's another one right here where i bought i have no idea why i bought there i maybe thought that you know it was it was consolidating so it might shoot up but it didn't it went down i sold when it hit the bottom again it touched that point one more time and it just continued to go up after that my entry ended up being a support afterwards and it just shot up all the way up to about 370. so this is for the day right here all right, so I, I try to put all the notes. I've been kind of slacking on these notes lately, but I'm mostly because I was disappointed in my performance, but that defeats the purpose of, you know, trying to learn from your mistakes. And so this time I only had two winning trades, which is pretty bad. All right, guys, so that was it. That was the week of May 26th to May 29th. If you don't want to sit through the live streams, that's fine. I understand it's kind of long, but at least with the journals and this video right here, you'll be able to see a general idea of how I did for the week. And because um, on the journals, I'm posting the time and then whether I went live or not, you'll be able to go back to the day trade and actually see my reaction to uh, you know, when I had a big loss or a big win. Remember, if you're a supporter on Patreon, the first tier, you'll get access to these highlight videos. You also get access to the weekly uh, reviews. If you're part of the second tier, then you get access to my journal uh, and graph screenshots. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am trying to give you guys a little bit more worth for your time. And so I'm still working on, on different things. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, I hope you enjoy this. See you guys in the next one. Bye.